A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit guys and today I'm going to teach you how to make an auto advancing picture gallery that also fades in. Let me start. Guys I'm using Adobe Flash Professional CS 5.5. Let me hit on the create new action script 3 file. Alright. On layer 1 guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to import 3 pictures. I'm going to say file. I'm going to say import import to stage. Alright these are the 3 pictures in question. Let me click or hit uh, the picture which is called nature one I'm gonna say open guys and flash understands that this file appears to be a part of sequence of images you want to import all of the images in the sequence I'm gonna say yes to that and guys see what has happened on all the three frames automatically three pictures have been placed and guys I forgot to tell you that all these three pictures have been uh, resized earlier by me to fit the stage which is they have a size of 550 by 400 pixels which is also the default size of the stage in flash guys cool guys next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select each picture one by one and convert them to symbols so uh, the registration point really wouldn't matter so I'm gonna say okay let me go to the next frame right click convert to symbol okay go to the third frame right click convert a symbol and okay once again so now guys all these three pictures are but movie clips okay next guys I'm gonna make sure that I'm on uh, frame one layer one double click on the movie clip go inside alright in the edit mode and then I'm gonna click on the picture right click on the picture I'm gonna say create motion tween and uh, I'll get a message which says that the item cannot be tweened you must convert it to a symbol in order to tween you want to convert and create a tween which is fine I'm gonna say okay automatically flash will convert it into a movie clip once again alright guys next one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go go to style go to alpha alright I'll make sure that on the 24th frame the alpha is a full hundred but on the first frame the alpha is a 40 alright let me scrub the timeline this is the way the timeline looks like right now in the edit mode when I'm inside the symbol guys alright next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create one more layer okay I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the 24th frame I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say no insert blank keyframe I'm gonna right click I'm gonna say actions then I'm gonna say stop parent parent semicolon out here all right okay then making sure that I right click on layer number one I'm gonna say copy motion all right let me go back to the stage guys hitting this back button out here okay I'm back on the stage guys and um, cool okay next guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the other picture the second picture so layer 1 frame 2 I'm gonna right click go inside I'm in the edit mode guys then I'm gonna say a uh, right click and I'm gonna say mm, paste motion if you remember guys I had copied the motion on the first picture I'm gonna paste it on this picture alright I get a message which says that uh, this in order to copy the the motion this specific picture will be converted to a movie clip so it will be converted and we will create a tween which is fine I'm gonna say okay automatically guys this uh, picture is then converted to a movie clip and the alpha tween is then created just the way it had with the earlier picture which is fine okay I'm gonna create one more layer guys I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the 24th frame I'm gonna say right click on to say insert blank keyframe and uh, go inside actions I'm gonna say stop parent parents my icon once again cool alright let me go back to the stage guys let me repeat the same process with the, the third picture okay I'm gonna right click go inside right click say paste motion once again I get the same uh, warning message I'm gonna ignore and say okay alright I get the same uh, alpha tween alright then I'm gonna create one more layer guys on the 24th frame I'm gonna say insert blank keyframe right click once again go inside the actions I'm gonna say stop parent parent semicolon alright so basically I followed the same procedure over all the three pictures guys over all the three images cool alright guys 
layer one is where all the three pictures are contained so I'm gonna call this layer images all right let me create one more layer guys and I'm gonna call this layer AS3 because I'm gonna place action script 3 on the very first frame of this layer all right guys I'd already written the action script and I would saved it let me copy the script that I'd written just a while ago let me say control C to copy go to the AS3 layer right click go inside the actions I'm gonna paste it out there okay I'll explain it in a little while guys let me first test it I'm gonna say control enter on the keyboard guys and uh, guys as you can see that we have a picture gallery that is ready all right it's fading in very nicely from first to the second second to the third picture loops back to the first picture to the second to the third and back to the first picture and on and on and on right so basically guys I don't think so it, it took me a lot of time to create this picture gallery okay so now I'm gonna slow down myself just a little bit breathe a little bit and explain the action script to you <sighs> all right okay now that uh, here comes the tricky part guys guys if you remember the first thing that I'd done was I brought in all the three pictures and I had converted them to symbols and I had gone inside in the edit mode and I had created uh, alpha tween on all the three pictures cool alright then guys through the action strip uh, what is happening is I'm ensuring that the playhead doesn't rush from the first to the second second to the third frame goes in in a frenzy to, so the playhead needs to be stopped first so that is uh, being accomplished through line number five cool all right in line number six guys i'm instantiating a timer i'm calling it my timer and then very unusually guys usually we see that it has a a delay in milliseconds which is some sometimes 1000 sometimes 2000 but I'm playing a little trick here I'm gonna I'm saying that please kick off the timer in no time so please kick off the timer immediately alright that is uh, happening uh, through this um, my timer dot start the timer is being kicked off it's being kicked off immediately without any delay guys alright in line number nine I've, I've attached a uh, add event listener to my timer guys and every time the timer fires it should uh, execute a function time handler and this function time handler let's see what it does the first thing it does is guys it says go to and stop my timer dot current count now my timer dot current count is one then two then three then four basically the cycle of the timer the first time the timer fires off the current count is one the second time it fires off the current count is two so on and so forth right so it's being told to go to and stop the first time the timer fires my timer dot current count is one so go to and stop one right so it goes to the very first frame it stops there okay then guys I'm passing the del delay parameter out here instead of passing it out here okay so I'm telling henceforth the delay should not be zero but the delay should be one and a half seconds guys henceforth all right that was the trick to fire the timer immediately but then later on telling it to fire off <coughs> <coughs> sorry after every one and a half seconds that was the trick okay then in line number 14 I'm saying that if my timer dot current count is equal to is equal to 4 guys if you remember there are three frames and three pictures so when the timer fires off the fourth time I'm telling my timer to stop I'm telling my timer to play which means uh, we have three frames it is on the third frame when it plays it will go back to the very first frame and start playing all over again since it will start playing all over again uh, on frame one the timer will start once again the moment it reaches from uh, frame number three to frame number one so it, nece it is necessary for me to stop the timer before I can start the timer once again all right so every time we have the fourth cycle of the timer the timer is being told to stop and then it's being told to play since we don't have the fourth frame it's gonna go to the very first frame and it starts playing all over again and guys a very simple and a short, uh, you know, short script which is very effective as well so let me hit control enter to test the movie once again alright three pictures um, fading in nicely okay beautiful guys just in case you had 10 pictures then what would you need what you would need to do is you would need to write 11 out here okay and just in case you wanted to increase the delay you should come out here 
and make it whatever you would like maybe 3000 maybe 2400 all right so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial you learned something from it i'll see you very soon with yet another flash and action script 3 tutorial you have a great christmas bye bye see you peace